Welcome to all you need to know before imaging this or that. In this quick video, we're going to show you some tips and tricks for how to get the best possible image for this target. Let's, Let's go. go. So you're going to find ML1 in the constellation of Ursa Major, about 12 million light years away. Uh, the best time to capture it is in spring. Yeah, and it's by a lot of other deep sky objects like M97, the Owl Nebula, M108, the Surfboard Galaxy, and GC4236. Whatever that is. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, of course, M82, which, which is, is oh, the, cigar the Cigar Galaxy. galaxy. Cigars. <laughs> I don't even smoke. <laughs> so M81 is also known as Bode's galaxy. Why is that? Well, because it was discovered by, uh, what's his name again? Uh, Johann Elert Bode, a German astronomer, and he spotted the galaxy on the very last day of the year 1774. Uh, so the very last day means uh, December 31st. <laughs> So it does have a magnitude of 6.94 and that makes it pretty bright. Uh, it's also a large object and actually it is the brightest and largest galaxy in the M81 group which contains 34 objects. Uh, this is M81 taken by the Hubble Space Telescope and if you look closely you can spot some of the 200 to 260 globular clusters present in the galaxy. Um, and as you can see, it has a bright yellow core and beautiful blue spiral arms. Uh, so pretty. But then if you take a picture in infrared, uh, then it's like flipped. So the, the core is like blue and then the spiral arms are more yellowish. This is a great broadband target and you can um, get it very, very well with an unmodified DSLR camera or an OSC cooled camera and you don't have to use any filters. Although if you do have an HA filter, you should totally use it. Uh, if you spend some time with HA uh, on this galaxy, there are plenty of um, you know, star-forming regions in the spiral arms that are very bright red. And especially next to it, so M82, a very, very close galaxy, uh, which is likely going to be in the same frame. M82 has, it's, it's a starburst galaxy, so it has a bunch of HA coming out of it from both the top and the bottom. And it's one of the best, if not the best, galaxy out there to image in HA, at least the best in the Messier catalog. So if you plan to have M82 in your frame as well, um, then definitely use an HA filter on top of your broadband or you know, LRGB. This is our most recent shot of M81 with a DSLR camera and an 800mm telescope. This was 3 hours total and at ISO 400. When imaging M81, we suggest starting with 3 minute exposures, which has worked for us for a long time to get lots of detail in the spiral arms without totally blowing up the bright core. And Messier 81 can also be photographed without a telescope. And here's a proof. This was taken with just a DSLR camera and it's untracked, so no tracker, nothing, just a tripod. And this was a single shot and you know, it's already, you know, it's there. So you can definitely take a good picture of it uh, with just a, a tripod and a camera. Wow. But of course, it's better if you do. If you can use a tracker, you should. Uh, this image was taken with our Canon T3i for just three hours. So if you image M81 and while you're at it, also M82 uh, with a small telescope, you can also capture some great integrated flux nebula, which is also known as IFN. So this is just a bunch of interstellar dark dust fly, uh, floating around uh, in space. And the area around M81 slash M82 is one of the best areas of the sky to capture this interstellar dust. So it's, it's really great. It's very difficult to get because you really want to go to a dark site to get this, like bottle two or bottle one, and spend, you know, do long exposures. But this is a, a, it's just so beautiful in pictures when it's well done. We plan on capturing M81 and M82 with our new camera, you know, and do a, you know, revamped version of it basically. So. Watch for, so, watch for us on social media, we'll be posting it, and we promise it's gonna be a good one. And now using these tips and the tips we have online, go and I mean, best of luck to you to try to capture M81, and uh, we hope you get a, a nice image, and uh, yeah, good luck with that. We hope this video helped you get to know this target just a little bit better and helped to prepare you to image it. 
We would love to see your image, so go on our website and find this object on our gallery and attach your image to the comment section, we would love to see it. And by the way, online we have a bunch more tips for so many, so many objects. So go on there and check it out. So we'll catch you guys next time and clear skies. Clear skies. skies.